Brian looked at me, his brows raised. Does she really think I can eat all of this food alone? I nodded. I'm afraid so. You, um, you aren't seeing anyone? He let out a gruff laugh as he raked a hand through his brown hair. No, I don't have time to date. Okay, why does that totally sound like a lie? When his caramel brown eyes met my blue gaze, he asked, Are you seeing anyone? I shook my head. Senior year is pretty packed and I'm busy focusing on my classes. That's good. I mean... It's smart of you to focus on school. Nodding, I let my gaze fall to his mouth, wondering what a kiss from him would feel like. Well, Ryan said, causing me to jerk my gaze back up to his. I'm sure I'll see you before you head back to school. Probably. I'll be with Dad when he picks up Starlight from you guys. His eyes lit up when I mentioned the cutting horse his father had been training for my dad. Ryan's parents, Tina and Bobby, owned a horse ranch called High Meadows Stables, where they trained and raised performance horses. Ryan's love of horses was one of the things that first caused me to fall in. Nope, you're not going there anymore, Morgan. Remember? Great. She was a sweet girl to work with. I think your dad will be really happy with her. I'm sure he will be, I said as I smiled. Okay, well, see you around, Morgan. With a quick nod, I replied, See you around, Ryan. After he turned and walked away, I watched him make his rounds as he said goodbye to everyone. He saved Grams and Grandpa for last. He hugged my grandmother and most likely said something flirty because she blushed like a schoolgirl. He shook granddad's hand, then headed out through the house. I stood there, debating if I should follow him or stay where I was. Turning, I looked around the room. It was clearing out and most everyone was gone. Deciding I wasn't ready to say goodnight to Ryan yet, I hurried in the same direction. By the time I got to the foyer, he was gone. I opened the door to see snow still falling. Ryan was at his truck, slipping inside the cab. I opened my mouth to call out, but then clamped it shut and quickly stepped back into the house, shutting the door before he saw me standing there like a silly girl. Turning, I dropped back against the door and let out a long sigh as I closed my eyes and rubbed at the slight ache in my chest. Damn you, Ryan Marshall. Damn you.